Okay, now we are well and truly back into ghast territory, and we've come across this rather nice and vertical. Whoop! Ouch! Hello, and welcome to my Let's Play Minecraft series, Rocket World, Season Four, Episode Six. Today, we're off on an exciting adventure, circling the Nether Hub from the Crimson Forest base via the North Tunnel to the Soul Sand Valley base. We'll also be building one of the ideas from the community that's on our jobs board here. This is a longer episode than usual, so feel free to jump around the vid using the chapters. But if you watch the whole thing, you'll see all hilarious things that happen today. So we had two new jobs suggested, and here they are. A frog light farm and a piglin bartering farm. Many thanks to the community for your super ideas, and feel free to make new suggestions in the comments again today. As I'm spending nearly all of my time in the nether this season, I need a respawn anchor or three. So I think the best way to obtain the growing obsidian is to build the piglin bartering farm. However, I'd like to make it a free range farm, so that's going to complicate things somewhat. First, I'm going to start the circumnavigation of the hub, so I'm off to the Crimson Forest base to pick up some supplies. I'll be showcasing the entire route near the end of this video, so make sure you hang around to see how it turns out. Okay, it's time to get started. We're heading out from the western base here, the Crimson Forest, and we're going to make our way to the North Tunnel. And that's because there's something that I'd like to show you regarding the North Tunnel. We're going to try and scoot around this big block of netherrack in the centre here. Let's make some progress. The idea is we try and follow this wall here and stay at about level 80-ish. 80, 80 um, although, yeah, it's, uh, is there any way around this? It doesn't look like there's much of a way around here. Oh no, that's blocked off, isn't it? Um, so let's have a look. Are we able to go down is the other thing. Oh, that looks... Well, there might be a way down there. Yeah. I uh, can't quite see. Is there a way down there somewhere? Whoop! Oh, that was lucky. I nearly... Up. Oh! Oh! Go, 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 go. Why am I not on fire? I didn't catch fire. That's... Well, I took the damage, <laughs> but I didn't catch fire. Well, that's good news from Dan, I suppose. Hello, little chap. Right, let's carry on. Whoop, I nearly did it again. Right, let's go across here. How are we going to get around this lava lake? I suppose it would have been sensible to go around the long way. But anyway, let's see what we can do. Uh, <laughs> I'm making life very difficult for myself here, aren't I? Right, there we go. I think we're round. And it's time to go back up a bit again, see if we can get closer to that 80 target that we're looking for. Uh, uh, oh, hang on. Is there a way up there? Hang on, let's stand back a bit. Yeah, it looks like we can get up there. Try and pillar up here and see if we can make some progress. Yep, here we are. Right, so we've got this wall next to us, so we're still heading north. Ooh, and look, there's signs of life here. A torch. So obviously, I've been here before, so we must be getting close to the north entrance because I have been out that way, I believe to find some bastions and there indeed is a bastion right let's try and get across there right let's go out this way let's grab another rack again and across here till we go whoops till we get to about here right here we go Right, so this is going to be a bastion, so better watch out. I think it's probably been cleared out of all the brutes, but you never know what else is here when you've missed things. Right, so that means we should be getting close to the north entrance. I can hear somebody around here. Right, and on we... Oh, ah, that might be, if I'm correct, that could be my nether portal to the savannah base from season two. So let's make our way over and we'll have a look and see. I'm just going to have to hope I remember all of this. Uh, how on earth do we get past all this? There must be a way around it. 
Right, here we go. Yes, I believe, yeah, this is my um, another portal base for the uh, Savannah base. Oh yes, I remember <laughs> all of these leaked into the base here and flooded the area completely. That was hilarious, that was. Oh dear, that was fun, that was. Right, so we're up to here. I can hear some hog loops. Oh dear. <laughs> it's gone through into the Savannah base. I'm going to go and have to rescue that, aren't I, before he turns into a zoggling. That's going to cause no, no end of problems. Right, here we are up on the roof, and we still got to go. I'm going to have to go up that way, I think. Oh, some piglins waiting for me. Right, keep my wits about me. Uh, right, let's see. Oh, oh got around there. Got oh, some hoglins over here. And oh yes, we are coming to a soul sand valley, which is correct for the north tunnel. Right, okay. So once we're in the soul sand valley, we don't have to worry about the piglins, so we can then protect ourselves accordingly. Oh, I thought he'd given up. <laughs> going to be a whole load of skellies around here I expect. Oh, and yes, when I set up the savannah base, it was uh, this, I came along this route here, so it's actually a route that I've done before. Ah, and here is the tunnel that leads, that's the north tunnel there. So, if I can make this route a little bit safer. Oh, there's a torch down there, so I've obviously been this route before. Where are all the skellies? There should be loads of skellies around here. There's some over in the distance there. Okay, well maybe I've lit up this route quite well in the past. So, Right, we're nearly there. So, North Tunnel. Yes, I've been doing a little bit of work in between episodes on it. I can't get the ghasts today. I've been planning out what I'm going to do with all the tunnels, and the North Tunnel is my prototype. So as we come over here, we'll get a closer look at what's happening. Hello Skelly, thank you for standing still. Now I've got to get over there, so I'm going to have to dig some of this out, I think. Yes, I've been planning out how I want all the nether hub tunnels to look as they leave the hub, as at the moment they're all just tunnels through the nether rack like this. This really isn't very interesting, and I'd like something more exciting to traverse. However, I'd like them to be much more open like this, hollowed out along its length, and they'll be decorated according to the biome they pass through. <laughs> Oi, what are you doing? This is a private conversation, you weren't invited. Now, I think I found the perfect place to have our bartering farm. So let's go and have a look and see if we can find it down here, which is very convenient. You're not angry, are you? I broke a chest. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, good. <laughs> They've given up. I think this is going to be the perfect tree to put our bartering farm in, because we don't want to spoil the landscape with funny contractions and things, although there will be a couple of buttons and a lever on the front, which is not ideal. And what we're going to do is we're going to hollow out some of this area here and put in a mechanism up here to dispense gold. And we're going to have some free-range piglins floating around that we can barter with. So I've got all of my bits and pieces here. So for example, a dropper, that's going to go up here somewhere. Let's put it, yeah, let's put it there. That'll be fine. And uh, we're going to put our gold in there and that's going to drop down. Although if we put it up a little bit higher, it will probably not be so noticeable from a distance, which will be nice. There we go. Yeah, so hopefully we can hide most of our bits and pieces inside the canopy of the tree here. Okay, now it doesn't look like much has changed, but we do have a little bit of a bartering farm here. Now we've got a button here. If we press that, a block drops out. And if we drop any blocks on these ones here, the mud blocks, you'll know that the mud blocks are not a full block. So that one at the back is locked, but these here are not because there are 
hoppers underneath. And you can see the hoppers leading into this chest. I won't open the chest because I'll get attacked by the piglins. But what we've got over here is this is where the gold drops out. And I've just picked it up. Uh, it was only that. And if we want to pick up any leftover gold at the end, we can just flick that switch and it disappears. And that goes into, yes, you guessed it, in here. So this locks and unlocks the hopper. And we have a lever further up here, which we'll flick in a moment. And let's have a quick look and see what that does. Now inside the tree here is quite a pretty bit of um, redstone. We got a dropper here. So there's our blocks in there. And then when we flick the lever, this activates this piston, which pushes an observer down facing this observer. So the output hits that, and the output of this observer hits this piston here. And this gold block will go up and down, up and down, up and down, as the observers pulse against each other. And that will mean that the piglins will speed up their bartering process. So let's give it a quick go and see if it works with the dummy blocks that we've got. Oops, I've got to stand about here actually because that lever is quite a way away. There we go. Oh, hang on. Uh oh. Look, well, he can't do his crossbow. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Well, let me get my shield. There we go, that leaves us well and truly prepared for when he shoots us because we're moving his gold block. Oh, I see. Ah, take that. <laughs> that was hilarious. I've never seen that happen before. That was so funny. Anyway, let's go and have a look and see if it has dropped all of that, all those blocks there. Yes, it has. There's a little pile of blocks and can't be bothered to pick them up. So just flick that on and the hoppers pick them all up. And there they all are in the chest waiting for us. So all we've got to do is load the dispenser up with gold. I don't think, oh I did bring a little bit with me, yes, so I could test it if I had some friends around here. <laughs> I've eliminated my only friend. Um, but anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and get a name tag and I'm going to find a friend, a piglin friend. We're going to get him in this area, I'm going to fence him off so he can't wander too far away. And then he can be part of our bartering farm. And I'm going to start closing up this um, tree here so that we can't see all of the redstone. Okay, now I've managed to lure a piglin into my little enclosure here, and we're going to pop a name tag on him. There we go. It's called Mr. Scratchings. <laughs> Couldn't think of a good name, so I've called him that instead. Oh, I haven't put any um, gold into the um, dispenser yet, the dropper rather. Let's do that. That's a good start from the gold farm. Uh, are we still there? Right, that's good. I think what I'll do is I will climb in and fill up the dispenser and then we'll see if the gold farm works. Okay, now here we go. So we have our piglin over there, Mr. Scratchings. So let's give that a go. Let's see if that will tempt him to come and have a look. Oh, it has. Yes, he can't get to it. He's got to come round to there. And that's when I jump up here activate that and there he goes he's going ballistic <laughs> that's just what we wanted to oh I think I might need to make an adjustment <laughs> it doesn't look like he's collecting anything <laughs> oh well right we'll see what we can do I'll turn it off and uh, we may have to oh is he still stealing all the gold right, here we go can we I've not sorted this out yet, have I? Right, take all that gold away. Hmm? Oh, right, there's a hole in there. Right, okay, so is he happy for us to be around here or is he going to wallop me? No, he seems to be happy. Right, I'll pick up all of the bits and pieces that I've traded and um, I think, other than perhaps extending it a little bit <laughs> so it picks it all up, I think we've got a pretty good bartering farm. Now that's done I think it's time to head back to the North Tunnel so we can continue our pathway all the way around to the Soul Sand Valley base in the east. 
So let's go and get started. OK, we are now on the second leg of our journey and that means we've got to go in the opposite direction from here around to the East Tunnel. And uh, oh, <laughs> this doesn't look too good, does it? Um, yeah, I'm going to try and scoot along here and let's see what we can do. We'll make a little path going along here. Oh my goodness. Ooh, there's a bit of tree there as well. That's a bit weird. Uh, let me see if I can pick up some netherrack. This is going to be a temporary pathway here. And uh, we'll see if we can... Uh, yeah, right. <laughs> there's something about lava in this episode, isn't there? So let's see what we can do around here. Oh my goodness, you're joking. Go backwards as well? Right, is this it? At least we can hide from the ghasts behind here. <laughs> I never thought I'd think of the advantages of having pouring lava um, in my world. Right. Oh, there's one there. That's what we want to put. Oh, crikey. Right, OK. That was a good shot. I've not had very many this episode, but... Oh, look at that! <laughs> Two in a row. <laughs> Unbelievable. Right, let's make a bit of progress and see how far we can get. Okay, now I've made a fair bit of progress cutting my way around, oops, cutting my way around this ledge. Ooh, that was lucky. Oh, there's another one. As soon as we get rid of one, the next one comes along. Oh, that's my t luck has turned a little bit. And I can see we've got a ledge down there, a actual bit of land that we can walk across, which is going to be really nice. So um, let's keep on moving and hope that we can. Also, this is going to be fun because it sort of gets thinner and thinner underneath my feet as I go along, which is not very reassuring. But uh, let's keep moving and see where it takes us. OK, now we haven't had any disasters and managed to keep the ghasts at bay. It looks like we are coming into slightly friendlier territory. There's just hoglins and piglins. <laughs> Never thought I'd say that of hoglins, that they're friendly. But here we go. Yep, we're getting quite close now. Oh, looks like we might be able to start Maybe building a staircase going down, which is really nice. Get away from the... Uh, cliff edge that we've been walking all the way along here. Yes, look at that. We have made it all the way around the edge of this huge lava. Not even a lake, it's an ocean, isn't it? And uh, we are safe, relatively. So let's go on and see what we can find. Right, now keeping the big wall to our left, we're going to try and scoot around here. And I wonder, should we go down <laughs> with the lava? Who are you upset with? Or should we cut a line across the top there? Because I've got a feeling we're a bit on the little bit on the low side and we might have to struggle to get back up again. So I think I might build a staircase going up across here. Across here. Ah, uh, rickety bridges. Yes, this is what we want. Rickety bridges crossing lava. Oof, I'm not even using crouch. That's not ideal, is it? Right, yeah, well, let's make it twist across here as well. So it makes it even more... Ugh. Yeah, this is a little bit exciting. What's going on? Are they having a hunt? Oh, <laughs> someone's... <laughs> Gone for a swim in lava. Glad it wasn't me. I don't think I'd better get out of there very easily. Right, we're at level 76, which is more or less what our target is. So let's carry on along this ledge. Oh, let's fill that in a little bit. There we go. Make life a little bit easy for us occasionally. And oh, we're oh, going back into the Soul Sand Valley. Well, that's good because that's where our next base is. Okay, now we are well and truly back into ghast territory, and we've come across this rather nice and vertical. Whoop! Ah, woof! Crikey! Wasn't expecting that. <gasps> that frightened the life out of me. 
where was I? Over there somewhere. <gasps> what was I even saying? It's a nice vertical wall we've got to go through. <sighs> right, okay, let's retrace our steps and get back. Try and get my heart back under control as well. <laughs> Pay attention. Right, okay, we're going to have to do what we did before and uh, make a nice narrow ledge so that we can be hit by all the ghast fireballs that we uh, come across. Right, let's see how we go with this. Right, now I've come across a nice little bit of a dilemma. Oh dear, I haven't have I. <laughs> did I just look at that Enderman? I don't know that he can get up here, can he? No, I think he's a bit too high. He might come over here though. Anyway, my dilemma is I can keep on going around here, but I think it might be nice to make a little bit of a bridge out there. Uh, but the only problem is how do we make it? So I might try clearing out a bit. This is where the Enderman comes back to haunt us, I expect, because suddenly <laughs> he can get to us because there's a three block high gap. Either that or a ghast of course. Right now th what I think I might do is I might build from the other side now so it's time for a quick jump. Oh that went quite well considering and let's start building up a little bit from here. Oh no you're joking did I look at him? Nope maybe not. Right let's keep away from him. <laughs> And there we go, so we're back on safe territory again, and let's see what's just around here. Let's get rid of one of those. Oh, I heard an arrow. Where are you? Oh, you're over there, are you? Let's keep away from the fire, because we don't want them turning into fire arrows. Right, I can hear ghasts over there as well, so let's go and see what we are going to discover just over the hill. Find some skellies. Oh, 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 we are nearly there. Oh, good heavens, where did you come from? Oh, don't shoot me that way, I'll end up in the lava. There's our base, so we have made it all the way around. That was actually pretty easy. I shouldn't say that, should I? <laughs> Famous last words. Right. There we go, so the entrance to the tunnel is here. We have made it through to our base. Nice. Ow! Right, that's the pathway established halfway round the entire Nether Hub area. And that was really quite an adventure. I've spent a bit of time making some proper pathways as well. So let's have a brief look at some of the highlights. So we've made it halfway around the nether surrounding the hub and it was loads of fun. We've now got a piglin bartering farm which I've upgraded again as you can see behind me. We've still got some big projects to undertake including working on the nether hub, ice boat tunnels and a frog light farm. So let me know in comments what else you think we can add to our jobs board and also if you have any ideas to name our piglin friend here. If you'd like to make the Hidden Piglin Bartering Farm, there's a quick tutorial on it coming up next, as well as another great video that I think you'll like. So I hope you'll watch one of those next, but don't forget to leave a like before you go. Thank you all for watching today, I hope you've enjoyed this episode, and I look forward to seeing you all in the next one. So have fun, and see you later!